Well, there are some amazing interactive pictures on the ABC website showing before and after shots of the Brisbane floods. The high-resolution aerial photos were taken over the city last week, revealing the scale of devastation across dozens of suburbs and tens of thousands of homes and businesses. The photos were taken in flyovers on January 13 and 14, showing riverside homes and parklands swallowed by, by the floodwaters. Well, Matt Liddy is an executive producer at ABC News Online and he put this project together and he joins me now from Brisbane. We saw some of those photos just then briefly and, of course, for viewers that haven't been able to have a look, they'll be able to go to the ABC website. But um, how, what sort of response have you had to these photos online? <laughs> Well, good afternoon, Bridget. We've had a massive response. We put the photos out there yesterday morning and they just really took off virally across the internet. Um, people were sharing it via Twitter and via Facebook. We've had over 700,000 accesses to the pages now since we went, went up with the first lot of photos yesterday. Um, and we've put more up this morning and basically they've been shared on a lot of international websites that are highly trafficked and uh, some of our highest traffic hours this morning were actually between 1 and 4 a.m. Wow, so the overseas people have been looking at them? Yeah, that's right. People have been obviously accessing from overseas because uh, there has been international interest in the story and, and these photos essentially tell the story in a way that, that no other media has been able to. Were these photos taken specifically for the website? Uh, they were actually done by an online mapping company called Nearmap. And as I understand it, they were asked by government agencies and the City Council to, to do the flyover last week to actually record the images of, of what happened to the city for actual uh, official sort of government purposes. Uh, but we caught wind that the fly flyover had been done last week and essentially saw that as an opportunity to, to tell the story in a way that, uh, you know, you, you couldn't see these sort of before and after pictures necessarily the same way on, on TV or in print media. And some of the still photographs that you've had on the news site as well have been quite amazing and terrifying, really. What sort of response have you had throughout the whole flood crisis? Oh, throughout the crisis, we, we've just had an absolute uh, crush of people coming to the website, seeking information, seeking uh, to, to see what conditions are like, not only people from Queensland looking for information about their own community, but also people from interstate and overseas, as I say, there's just been a, a huge amount of feedback and a, a huge amount of people just uh, feeling for the people of Queensland. And Matt, um, just briefly, we're talking to you from the newsroom of the ABC in Brisbane, but the ABC News Online's offices in Brisbane on Coronation Drive were evacuated. Are you back in the offices yet? No, not yet. We're still working from about five different sites in Brisbane at the moment, including the uh, soccer club at The Gap. So we're, we're, we're a bit split up, but uh, progress is being made on, on getting us back in there. So you get to have a bit of lunchtime activity then anyway if you're at the soccer club. <laughs> That's right. The, the bar wasn't open though, sadly. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Matt, for joining us. Thank you. Matt Liddy from ABC News Online.